Heather's Family Vlogs. Heather's Family Vlogs. Right there. And there. And right there. Happy Monday, y'all. How you all doing? <sighs> Happy Monday, Monday, Monday. I'm in a different part of my house. Yes, I have my hair down. And today we're going to have um story time. Um a lot of um friends on here, family members always asking me, "Heather, like how did you feel and overcome you know, um, telling people your life story. Well, I have a lot of life stories, you know, and, um, when, you know, when somebody gets diagnosed with something and is, like, you know, life-threatening and stuff like that, and, like, I went through, um, a lot of crazy phases, like, um, like, I tried committing suicide a bunch of times, but, um, I cut myself, I, I was a cutter, um, many years ago, if if you look right all up in here, all this, I have cuts on my arms. I'm not sure if y'all can see the cuts. It goes from here all the way. Um, I drank bleach before. Um, all I had in, in me was like, why would somebody give me some... And then it told me that they were sick, you know? That's the hardest thing anybody can go through is um, being told that they are HIV positive for the rest of their life. You know, it is... It's crazy. I started off with like 22 pills a day. Like, I used to take 22 HIV medications. Um... a lot a lot of pills I used to take 21 years ago they were like big ass horse pills they were huge and now I only take one pill a day you know coming from taking so so many HIV pills to just one a day that's freaking awesome you know you, you gotta go through so many give me a second sorry guys that was Manny coming in from he went he was supposed to be going to the grocery store but the church right here outside my window um they give out pantry so we got two big gallons of two gallons of milk two big things of potatoes um apples I give away the apples because I don't use apples or eat apples um sour creams hot dogs meatballs um vegetables fruit uh, they at least they give some but like i was saying when i had um became HIV positive, like, my family shunned me, like, my family, like, literally, like, kicked me to the curb, um, if I went to their houses, I had to use paper plates, um, plastic spoons, forks, silverware, um, my mother and my grandmother, um, it was awful, guys. Like, every time I used the toilet, they wanted me to clean it with bleach. If I took a shower, to clean it out right away. Um, they didn't want me to hug them or give them a kiss. Um, it's, 
uh, it's a lot of things people go through when you get something like this, you know. Um, the only person that knew, you know, that you couldn't catch nothing and stuff was, um, what's that called, um, my Aunt Cheryl, the one that passed away a, a year and a half ago. Because she was in college to become a, she was getting her doctorate, doctor, like nurses and stuff. So she knew that you couldn't get it that way or anything like that, you know. Um, I broke up with my daughter's father, you know, after I found all that out, it was crazy. But, yeah, my daughter's father is the one that got me sick, y'all. You know, and, um, it is not cool, you know, and, and for him not telling you, telling me, you know, he was sick, you know, he didn't give me the opportunity to say yes or no, you know, and, um, he passed away like 12 years ago, my daughter's father, you know, and I just got no words, you know, he called me before um, he died, passed away, and asked if I would forgive him. And I told him like this, I will forgive you, but I will never forget you marked me for death. And my kids. Even though all three of my um, beautiful babies are HIV negative. But when you give birth to a, to a baby, um, I didn't have natural birth. So that was a plus. Because if you do give natural birth, the blood-to-blood -blood contact the baby could get infected. So I had three C-sections. Um, they were bad. <laughs> but um, that when you're the HIV mother giving birth to a baby, your baby is on Bactrim for six months. Up to six weeks, six months. It depends if they're sick or, or not. Hold on. Somebody's knocking on my door. Oh, that was cool. That was sweet. <coughs> um, my next door neighbor's granddaughter <coughs> knocked on my door and said, "Happy Mother's Day." This look. I looked outside, but I want to show you guys. Ginger, it's just paper. Ginger be going crazy over stuff. Look what she got me for Mother's Day, y'all. Oh, a beautiful candle. Can you see it? And it smells so good. I'm going to light this up. Oh, the little girl's like, Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, Marisol. I love you guys so much, Mommy. I love my neighbors, y'all. You ever have some nice neighbors? I can actually say the my neighbors on the top floor fucking rock. Thank you so much. Like, we all look out for each other and stuff, you know? Oh. I'm going to light this baby up. I sure am. I love candles, y'all. Heather is a candle person. They used to call me Candle Queen. Because I used to always be at um, Yankee Candle in Massachusetts. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back. I keep getting really interrupted. But it was okay. I got a beautiful gift. Thank you so much, Marisol. I love you guys. <coughs> but, um, yeah. You know, um, oh, damn. Where was I? I forgot exactly where I was. Um, I'm trying to figure out how long I've been on already. Um, yeah, like, you know, so, my family was, like, my grandmother do doesn't even speak to me still. It's been, like, 21 years. No, she don't want nothing to do with me. I used to be her favorite grandchild, and, nope, because of all that, you know, it, it, it's not cool. It's not right at all. You know, to do something like that, to 
the person you practically raised. But, you know, um, then I got with my boy's father. I told him I was sick. He was like, you know, that's fine, whatever. I ended up having the two boys. Oh, like I was saying, when you give birth to a baby, the baby has to be on medication for six weeks and get checked. Like, go to the HIV doctor. For, for the first couple of months that they're, um, born. Um, hold on one second. I shut the big one off, the big light, because I have my other light, you know, so too much light is not cool. But anyway, um, so they got to see the HIV doctor. And back in the 21 years ago, they used to have to see the doctor, um, up up until they were six months and get checked once a year until they were 18. But that was 20, 21 years ago. Nowadays, it's once you're negative, you're negative, you know. But um, it's very hard when you have kids and you got to give them medications every day, back to them. That's what they were giving my kids. And, you know, it's, it's sad, you know, but, I mean, I made it 21 years. I have, I have not had ammonia. <coughs> I have gotten really, really thin, you know, um, being HIV positive, even though I take care of myself, you start getting lesions. That's what these are, guys, lesions is you can start getting like marks everywhere like literally <coughs> <coughs> i have them everywhere yeah i do and um but i it is this is not from legions this is from because i um got a, a a reaction to the bleach to the hair bleach so that's not legion <coughs> <coughs> um i have gotten really skinny um, when I'm skinny, it, I don't look right at all. Maybe 200 pounds, that's good. But skinny, skinny, I look at it like I have always full-blown, you know. But people always ask me, how long did it take me to tell somebody or talk about me being HIV positive? It took me like maybe... Eight years for me to really start telling people because I didn't know how you know people would react to me being HIV positive and stuff like that but like maybe 12 years ago I just started talking more and more about it and starting to help others with what they're going through you know um I got I got a case hat degree, like I could talk about it and I could work in facilities and stuff. But I just be too sick. I got too many problems, other problems besides the HIV, you know. But um, a lot of people come to me and ask me questions, and I'm of the shoulders that they lean on and cry on. You know, I'm that kind of person that will tell you like it is, you know. Um, but if anybody needs help talking about their illness, their sickness, um, or need help with anything, or ask for advice, and um, I can teach you what it, the difference is between the HIV and the AIDS. And all the types of different HIVs that they do have. Because they have plenty. Because the ones in Africa and India, I believe, are the worst. You don't want to get that. No, no, no. You know, because those ones over there in those countries, they don't have the medications like we have. And their immune system is really low and shot, you know. But if anybody has any questions they would like to ask me, um, feel free. The comments are open always. And if you are my friend on Instagram or Facebook, you know, um, 
hit me up on the messages, you know, I'll help you understand the virus a little more. Does my husband have HIV? No. I am a carrier. I am not a giver. A giver is somebody that is like my daughter's father that will get you sick like that. I'm a carrier, which means I am not able to pass it you see this to you. So there is a big difference, guys. Okay? But I love you all so, so much, and you all mean the world to me. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you all can leave me a thumbs up and share my videos out. Share these out like crazy. Let other people realize you're not alone. If you need somebody, talk to Heather. But anyway, guys, I love you all so much. Like, subscribe, share, follow me literally on everything. Remember, hit that notification bell when you want to be notified when I put up my brand new videos. I love you all very, very much. God bless you. Peace.